On September 11th last year, humans were not the only ones victimized at the World Trade Center. The bomb detection dog, Sirius, lost his life that day, too. Helping to pay tribute to the bravery of our four-legged friends, Ron Burns. He is a unique artist using vibrant colors to help honor Sirius in that painting and poster you just saw and helping to pave the way to help train more rescue dogs. Ron is with us now from San Francisco. Good to see you, Ron. Hi, Frederica. How are you? Thanks for having me on. Well, I'm glad you could you could join us. Well, there's so many different ways that people are paying tribute uh, to those lost during the World Trade Center. You decided to take a very unique approach to make sure that uh, people know about the brave efforts of the rescue dogs involved. That poster, uh, which started out as a vibrant painting, is one of Sirius and his Port Authority handler, Dave Lim. Why did you find that it was so important to pay tribute to the rescue dogs such as Sirius? Well, I, I, being an artist in painting and I do commissions of people's pets, I was watching TV and I saw the tragedy unfold during those days and when we saw the story of Sirius, um, we just realized, my wife and I, that uh, Dave was probably going through a lot of pain, a lot of anguish as we all were and I know in losing a pet, which I've been through, I just thought that uh, and able to do a painting and give Dave a reproduction of that that he could have for the rest of his life to remember Sirius by would be uh, a wonderful thing for him. And it was a nice enough thing that it unfolded into us doing the poster so that people around the country and around the world can now have a uh, picture of Sirius, this print, uh, for themselves as well to remember Sirius by a great hero. And this effort has now taken on a life of its own. Not only do you have the posters and, and the original painting, uh, which helped spawn the posters, but now even these uh, sculptures of shepherd dogs that soon people are going to start seeing in New York, um, D-O-G-N-Y. Uh, explain how, how this evolved into uh, this effort, which is going to be very similar to uh, the cows that people, mm -hmm. the fiberglass cows that many people would uh, see in New York City and visiting other cities. Right, it's uh, DOGNY, it's uh, being put on by the AKC, the American Kennel Club, and uh, what they've done is decided to get sculptures of fiberglass life-size German Shepherd dogs, uh, and then through sponsors, both individuals and corporations, they purchase those sculptures, and they've had artists like myself come in, paint those dogs up, and then uh, in December, after being on display for a number of months, they will have Sotheby's come in, do an auction, sell all the dogs, and all the monies raised will go to help more search and rescue dogs be trained and their handlers as well for traveling around the country and the different work that they do. Now your signature touch is the, the vibrant colors, the almost sometimes fluorescent colors that you use um, to help tell the story of, of these dogs. Um, we're looking at uh, a print now of one of your paintings. And what's interesting about these is this really all started from not just your love of pets, but helping uh, dogs get adopted in shelters. Explain how you would go and, and go in search of some of these dogs and then uh, turn it into a, a painting such as this. Sure, we've, uh, my wife and I, we've been giving back uh, to the community for years. It all started when I was uh, initially painting my dogs. I painted my cats and dogs, and my wife, Buff, she said to me, you know, we can't be really selling the pictures of our kids to everybody. <laughs> so while vacationing, I thought, you know, I'm going to run down to the local shelter, take some photographs for some subject matter. I did that, uh, did a series of paintings, sold all of them at an art show. And we wrote a check back to that shelter saying thank you for allowing me to come in and photograph those uh, pets. And since that time, it's been nice. We've uh, created programs. I'm the artist in residence for the Humane Society of the United States, which is a nice honor. And we do everything we can uh, for shelter animals to help them find homes through the artwork that I do. <laughs> oh, and these are such great pictures. And so thank not you. only have you seen that this has helped inspire uh, the adoption of so many pets, but now you're, you're branching out where you, you believe the money raised from uh, the sculptures that are going to be around New York will also help uh, to train more of these dogs. Some, perhaps some of these dogs that are actually from puppy pounds, right? Which can oh, end yes. up being turned into rescue dogs. Yes, exactly. In, in uh, search and rescue dogs, and I've also found out in the last year, uh, all the, there were a lot of pet therapy dogs that went to ground zero uh, time and time again. And uh, in traveling around the country this last year, I've been able to photograph a lot of the pet therapy dogs and do paintings of those as well. So we're uh, basically, I'm branching out as far as subject matter from dogs that are shelter dogs 
into search and rescue dogs, pet therapy dogs, and even uh, assistance dogs that help people. There's a lot of dogs in the last year I've realized that uh, give their lives on a daily basis uh, towards all of us humans that go unrecognized and through my art I'm able to portray them hopefully and uh, let people know about what, the, what great works they do. There are millions of dogs that are unadopted out there. How in the world do you narrow it down to a few to take their picture and decide you're going to be the subject of my artwork? What do you look for? Uh, it's like anything. I think the artist that sees the uh, sun cascading across a rock and wants to capture that, I'll go into a shelter and I'll see a dog and think, that dog does for me the same emotional thing that maybe a sunset does for another artist. And I'll photograph that dog and then go back to my studio and work from those photographs to hopefully capture that dog and show it in all the honor that I think it respects. And, and you know, you look at these pictures and some of them just make you laugh because uh, they're so cute. And uh, but, but this is a serious business. This has become a very serious business for you. These are uh, some of your paintings have now uh, garnered upwards of $10,000, even $15,000, and a good portion of your proceeds are going toward uh, helping uh, these four legged friends. Yeah, I think it's just uh, for us, my wife and myself, and our dog, we have one left. We lost three last year. It was a hard year. Uh, we just realized that the whole cycle is about doing what you love to do in life and then giving back. And in doing that, we can really feel that uh, what you do is not great in your life just for being able to do what you do, but by giving back and helping these other shelter animals find homes, uh, you just know you're giving to them. And it's kind of a complete cycle, a complete circle of good all the way around. All right, Ron Burns, for those of us who can't afford to buy your, your works of art there, when can we at least start to see these fiberglass shepherds in New York? Uh, they'll be uh, in New York uh, starting next week, I believe, through December. So you can uh, visit them there. All right, Ron Burns, thanks very much for joining us, and we're enjoying looking at your work here. Great, thanks, thanks. for I sharing. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> All right.